What's up everybody, it's me, Nat, here for the Beard Struggle once again. Today we're going to be talking about five of the nasty things that could be residing in your beard. Such nasty things like dry skin, which is usually just a buildup of dead skin cells hiding beneath your beard. Because everybody knows that the forest is the best place to hide. It's one of the biggest culprits for beard itch out there and can be solved easily by cleaning your beard next time you're in the shower. Just take a little extra time to really scrub and get in there. Normally this kind of thing goes unnoticed until it begins flaking and falling onto your clothes and it turns your beard into a, a salt shaker essentially. Under your glorious mane, you may have a buildup of old product. This kind of thing usually comes from applying way too much product, remember a dab will do you, or not washing the product out well enough when you're in the shower. Dandruff is not just a top of the head thing. It comes from all sides of the head. It's an accumulation and a flaking of old dead skin cells, which can happen anywhere, but you don't want it happening on your face. Not to mention old product and other things you put in your beard can contribute to this as well. One of the nastiest and probably most embarrassing things you can get in your beard is food. It's gonna happen. You're gonna get food in your beard. If you didn't know that, now you do. Whether you notice it or not, you're gonna get food in your beard. And if you don't notice it right away, it can dry up, form like a greasy matte finish on wherever it is in your beard. Ugh. This is why when I go for wings, I get dry rub. Allergic reactions are far more common than you think. And you can get one from using the wrong kind of product or a kind of product that maybe doesn't agree with you in particular. This is why it's always a good idea to test products before you go ahead and just commit to using them. One wrong product and you can have a rash under your beard that will cause you all kinds of discomfort. And on the honorable mentions list is ingrown hairs, which if you're already growing a beard, I'm sure you might be well versed in. Good news, everyone. All of these problems can be solved by washing your beard. Anytime you're in the shower, you can spend a few minutes to just scrub your beard and get all the old product, dead skin, and other food products that may be in there. I myself have been using the coconut shampoo and conditioner from the Beard Struggle. This is the conditioner, this is what it looks like. You can get this and many more awesome beard products by using the link in the description. Check out the Beard Struggle, use my discount code, and uh, get yourself a little discount, why not? He's gotta take care of it the same way you would take care of the hair on top of your head. I don't know if this is new facts to anybody, but I felt like I had to say it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description, and I will see you guys next time. I'd like to say that I have a pretty good regimen with my beard, but even just making this video, I think I've spooked myself into needing to go take a shower right now. I, uh, there's dead skin everywhere.